Hi, I am Aisel, the co-founder of TheCodingGirls.com. Today, in this video, we will learn how to use the autosave and life review options for brackets. If you have been watching my other videos, you know that although there are a number of editors available for making web pages, I prefer brackets because of two reasons. Number one, it allows to autosave the files at the interval specified by you. Number two, Brackets allows us to see the changes in real time. And let me tell you, this is a real lifesaver as it will save you a lot of time. So, let's open brackets by pressing command and space on Mac. Enter B R A C K E T S and press enter. It is important to note that we need to have Google Chrome as currently brackets live preview works only with Google Chrome and it does not work with any other browser. You also need Brackets autosave extension. If you want to know how to install that, you can watch my previous video. So, how do you know if you already have the autosave extension? It's very simple. Just click on File, and if you see the tabs of Enable Autosave and Autosave Configuration, this means that you already have the extension. All right. Assuming that you already have the Chrome browser and autosave extension, in the brackets, you can see this flash-like symbol. This is the icon for live preview. If you hover over this icon, the little tools tip tells you that it is the live preview. It is currently gray, which means that it is not connected. Clicking on this icon will bring up this information window and it can be shown only one time. Clicking OK will bring up the Chrome window. Oops, we have an error here. It's good that we got the error, so you will learn the live troubleshooting as well. The error says that we should open the HTML file. We have opened the HTML file. Hmm, oh okay, it's not the HTML file because we have not saved it. We need to save the file as HTML to use the live preview option. Save the file by going to file and then save. Give it a name. I will go with index.html and save it on my desktop. Let's adjust the windows side by side so that we can see the changes in real time. When the live connection has been made, the color of flash symbol will turn yellow. Let's write the basic HTML structure. As I write, you can see a small circle near the flash symbol. This tells us that document has not been saved yet. With autosave, it should immediately save the document, but it is not doing so. Let's check the settings. Go to file. We need to check the option of autosave. Clicking on autosave and typing. Now, as soon as I stop typing, the document is saved. So far, our browser window is empty as we have not written any displayable content. Let's write the title of the page. You can see as I type, the changes are displayed in the web browser. Live preview using brackets and Chrome on Mac. Writing H1 heading. This is H1 heading. Then write a paragraph. This is paragraph. So in this lesson, we learned how to use the live preview option of brackets. Thanks for listening. See you in the next lesson.